welcome to windy studio and welcome to the brand new tutorial for photoshop and in this tutorial we'll be creating a simple poster design just using a single brush on photoshop and i hope you guys gonna love this one so without any further ado let's submit the video here we are in photoshop and first thing first let's create a composition so for that go to file and i will just go for uh, 1080 over 1350 put the resolution as 300 color mode rgb and bitrate to 16 and let's click on create and let's drag and drop this image over here right now let's drag another image over here and let's convert all this image as a smart object right click convert as a smart object now let's make the bottom one a little smaller Control t maybe something like that and more smaller yep something somewhere around here and let's make this a little smaller Control t and let's move it somewhere around here yep now let's uh, select both layer make a group Control g and let's create a solid and i'll just keep it as a, some kind of dark color something like that and now let's create another layer and go to the brush and this is the brush that I use almost all the time in my designs so if you want to download the same brush so this is the brush that I use almost all the time in my designs and if you want to download the same brush check on the description list below so let's see let's change the color to yellow maybe something like that and let's yep something like that maybe let's do some rotation and maybe let's drop down the opacity a little bit yep something like that and maybe let's make a rotation again yeah, just to create a kind of background pattern so okay now select the layer click on layer max and let's go to the black brush and using the same brush let's get some of these parts and maybe let's change the brush rotation yep something like that and maybe around here let's go back to white brush and let's get back those parts now let's create a one more layer and i will just keep it as a pure white and let's go to the same brush again let's do a rotation yep. now let's change the brush opacity to 100 percent and i will add some strokes and maybe let's change the brush rotation Now let's do some color adjustment so select the layer go to filter and go to the camera raw filter and let's increase the exposure a little bit drop down the highlights increase the clarity increase the texture maybe what about the detail tab let's increase the sharpening a little bit and increase the noise reduction all right so let's drag and drop to make a copy now select the layer, go to the filter, go to the neural filter and I will just click on style transform and let's go over here and let's see maybe let's apply this one and let's go all the way to the bottom and let's click on preserve color and click the focus subject on and I'll just leave the rest as default and let's click OK now let's change the blending mode to maybe hard light or maybe the soft light okay now let's go back to the another layer let's make a copy Control j and go to the filter and i'll just apply the same filter click on neural filter and let's go over here and apply the same one and let's click and preserve layer yep subject 
ok and now let's change the blending mode to the soft light or maybe overlay alright now let's do select this layer like select this both layer control T let's make some adjustment like maybe let's keep it somewhere over here all right and let's go over here. click the, make a new layer go to the brush again and this time I will just go for a little darker color and let's keep it under this layer and let's add some a little lighter, maybe something like that. Yep. Now let's create a oh, one more layer. Go to the brush, and using the same brush, let's uh, go for a little darker. More to overlay, and let's add another color. some oil or brown light and let's make another layer and let's change the color to a little darker color and let's change the blending mode to blending mode to screen and let's add some some texture pattern over here all right now let's add some text so go to the text remove that one or maybe let's keep it all the way to the bottom and maybe let's change the color overlay now go over here add a hue and saturation and click on clip to layer and maybe let's drop down the saturation so that's the final and that's the wrap up for today's video and before signing off don't forget to click on subscribe and don't forget to click on that bell icon.